everybody, I'm Austin J, and welcome to a stick-drawn game. I guess it would, you would be called you would call it. It's called West of Loading. Um, this game is supposed to be funny and I guess uh, adventure game. I don't know. I'm not really sure. So I hope you guys enjoy. Sit back, relax, and let's get right into it. Let's just go. Wanted for protagonizing. Winona Garner. Reward: 991 meat. Oh, and nice. Can I actually do these things? Oh, I'm making the meat go up. All right, cool. Ah, oh, it's my name. Okay, I'm not being. Oh, fuck that. I'm kicking all the eggs. There we go. Yes, the best name. Can I be a? Can I be a? Can I be a boy? No. Oh, I could just. Oh, nice. All right, we need to come up with a better name. That wasn't a good. Um, something about being a varmint. I'm gonna be the outlaw. Or no, I'll just be outlaw varmint. That's perfect. Perfect. Smart. Okay. I gotta make a. I gotta make how much meat I'm worth go up here. I'm a freaking awesome shot. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Nice. Okay. Let's go. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Ooh. I gotta be a cow puncher. I think. Snake oiler, bean slinger. I gotta be a cow puncher. How can you not be a cow puncher? Cowpunchers solve their problems with their fists, whether it's shaking them a disagreeable feller in a disreputable saloon, or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable feller in a slightly less reputable saloon. You've heard that cowpunchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason the cows aren't going to punch themselves. Hell yeah. I'm going to be a cowpuncher. Alright. This looks interesting. WASD to move. Goodbye, phonograph. You read the spine of your books, The Curse of Cabot Cellar. I read that one ten times. The Journey to Skeleton Canyon. Betsy Hardy in the Forbidden Basement. That sounds wrong. The Secret of Eagle Castle. The Adventure of the Spooky Castle. Rose Danger and the Incident at Cursed Mansion. Oh, hey, this one might come in handy. I got an item. Walking stupid. What is that? What is this? Unlock stupid walking as an option. <laughs> the book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who was really bad at walking. Read it. You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's awesome. You accidentally drop the book and then ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hang on. I want. Oh, wow. Hang on, I want, yes, yeah, stupid walking for sure. Alright, awesome. Fantastic. Off to grace. Oh my god! Wait. Hey, Al Russell, how you doing? Caw! I'm gonna miss you, buddy! Caw, caw, caw! Feed Russell a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Okay. Oh my god, the walking! Oh, it's awesome! Yes! This is the best. Okay. I guess we're going out. Oh my god. My house is messed up. What a mess! Stack the fire! I, oh. What? What? Am I a snake now? No, I don't want to go outside yet. The hearth really puts the hearth and hearth and home. Okay. You're gonna miss mom's cooking? It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. Wow. You'll miss meals with the family. Oh, this is fantastic. This is someone else's bed. Toys! It's your kid brother's toy box. I got a puzzle cube! Hell yeah. Can I do something with it? Fiddle with it. Nice. Your brother already had it most of the way solved, but you figure out the last couple moves. Hooray! Okay. You're stiff. You pick up one of your brother's weird books and flip through it. Uber die an Zal der Primzalen unter einer Gagebinen Grosse. None of it makes a lick of sense to me. 
Philosophy Naturalis Principia Mathematica. I think it's a. I think this is about math, maybe. Grundlagen einer allgemeinen monic monic faltige Resolution. I think that no, that one's definitely not about math. I'm I'm quite sure. I'm worried that my brother is a Nazi. So that's unfortunate. Your family farm is this ma? Your mom smiles warmly as you approach. I'm leaving now. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. A present? Yep, it's a book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but the one about picking locks, the one about desert survival, the one about barter. Picking locks sounds useful. Nice. Please be careful. I may try to do some of the voices, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of characters in this. So we'll see. Lock picking expertise. After you're done reading it, you donate it to a local orphanage. <laughs> smart. Very smart. Oh my god. I love that it's not the same. I love that you walked in. Oh my god. <laughs> Your father morosely jabs at the haystack. That hat doesn't fit you, dad. I'll grow into it. It's time for me to leave. His lip quivers a little. Listen, I want you to have this. It's your grandma's brass knuckles. Nice. Good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Oh my god, my brother. It didn't look good. Where's my ma Where's my brass knuckles? Oh, there they are. Nice. Let me equip them, some bitches. Oh, there we go. Okay. I see it. Haystack? It's a haystack. Dig through. I got a needle! I am the best. It's not for sewing, it's for picking locks. <laughs> Hello, brother! Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. You hand him his puzzle and he starts fidgeting with it. Hey, Rufus, time for me to head west. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyway? To get off this stupid farm. To help people, obviously. You've read the papers, Rufus. The people out west are in trouble. They need all the help they can get. But it's so dangerous! 60% of people who go west get killed within a year! And that's the that and that statistic is from before the cows came home. I'll be okay. Don't worry about taking care of mom and dad. I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so, I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. I'll miss you, Rufus. Okay. You give him a playful punch in the arm. He probably dies from the punch. Okay, I'm a stupid walk my way out. Alright. Oh, we're gonna watch the credits. Zach Johnson, alright. Cool. I'm, I'm wondering if that's the golfer. That'd be kind of interesting. Probably not, but you know. It's fun to wonder things. What? <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Alright, I think I'm gonna skip this. I wanted to watch some of it, but I'll just skip it. You just skipped a credit sequence where your character rode a turnip cart across the Great Plains and into the sleepy town of Boring Springs. Highlights of the trip include... Okay, thanks. Oh, I was almost done with it, damn it. Hello there, Mr. Drunkard. Hey, I'm huh, moseying here. Okay. Excuse, excuse me, lady. You want to know a secret? Hey, Missy, you seen my hit horse anywhere around here? No, I haven't. I don't think you should ride your horse, Hammer. But yuck. Can I say I can I? Can I? Never mind. You want to know? Oh, I stepped in shit. Well, too bad. Beg your pardon, lady. Oh, my God. I'm going to slither on up. Okay. All right. Fuck you, then. No, I didn't want to go in here. Huh? No, let me out. Let me out. There we go. Don't slither through the shit. Oh my god, I can roll. BS horsery. Nice! Oh, dang it. I stabbed myself on a cactus. On this... A sign in the door reads, Gone Drinking. It's probably this motherfucker right here. Let's go in this saloon. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting at the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey! Where's your hat, dang damn it? Well, I... You can't drink in here without a hat! Tight prop! He points to the take-a-hat, leave-a-hat box next to the door. 
You look through the hat box and find a sturdy looking stats. That looks like something you'd wear. Thanks, er, Pete! <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Say, gal! Yeah? You heading west? If and you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, uh, no pressure! Okay, oh my god, there's a shitload of people in here. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know without even looking that it's absolutely disgusting. Look into it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum, and it looks like a few teeth. It's disgusting, and the smell. Even from a distance, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, <laughs> peering into a filthy crusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shining at the bottom? There is. You reach your hand toward the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit trough at a mesquite barbecue contest. You hesitate. Never surrender. You plunge your hand in the awful soup. It makes a sound like glop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's tureen slowly, not daring to risk the splat splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. I mean... I can't. No, I can't. Can I have your beer? Wake his ass up. My hat's pretty cool. These guys are playing poker, poker, or at least trying to. They keep looking back and forth from their hands to the how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Is this the crazy guy, Pete? What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, Horse manners! Some metal horse thief poison the pickle blair! Uh huh. Pete drinks whiskey. See you later, Pete. Okay. I you're not blinking and it's it's worrying. Can I get a different hat? You already have a hat. What would you do with two? Um, wear twice as many? Thought that was relatively straightforward. You look like a thoughtly Howdy, I'm outlaw. Howdy, outlaw, I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. I don't know what that is. I'm the town horse selling guy. Okay. Oh, those horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Is that why you're here drinking instead? Uh, yep. And behind me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how to keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One, kind of a boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stable. I'll be happy to show it to you. All right. Oh, he disappeared. Sweet. Are you Annie Oakley? The woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. But I want to kick her ass. Slither on up to her. Hey, barkeep, what do you say? You walk up to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the bar... Back while reading, reward for lost mugs, 25 me each. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowgirl. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Outlaw. What brings you to this, to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by Dirtwater. Ask about errands. You mentioned errands? Yeah, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The hostler's always need help since he hurt his leg. And that no-account sheriff certainly sit, could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. What? Some cowpoke in from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I can probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. Alright. I got weak fungus eye. Sweet. Can I give the ring to the goblin and make that bitch go away? That would be sweet. What's it for? The liquid in this can is actually very powerful. It's just that it's tailored to kill weak fungi. This item is used in combat, effective against goblins. What does this ring do? Oh, nice. It gave me muscle, mysticality, and moxie. Those are a lot of M words right there. Hello, piano player. I should probably leave him alone. No, I want to kick his ass. Can I fight somebody? God damn it. Can I have one of these mugs?
Can I take this guy's mug? Give me your mug, damn it. I'm just gonna drag my ass across the bar here. A goblin! Hang on. I got you, goblin bitch. Fight. Attack the goblin. With quickness. Spray. Bam! Death! Instantaneous. Having dispatched the goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. I <laughs> hit level two. Nice. Did he have anything I can use? Grab a bottle of whiskey. Nurse brand whiskey. Can I have more than that? What was he digging for in there? Pile of old newspaper. No, I want the old newspaper. Damn it. Boring Springs Gazette, April 20th, 1895. Anything else down here? Anything interesting? No? Okay. Hey, uh, barkeep. I killed your goblin. Howdy. Good to see you again, outlaw. I took care of that goblin. Thank you kindly, outlaw. I knew you was a stand-up gale the moment you walked in here. Here you go. It's the least I can do by way of thanks. Who's the lady drinking whiskey? That's Susan. She's a rancher from nearby. A real tough broad. I ain't recommend you pest her. Lost her whole family to a cow attack recently. Got some pent-up frustration. Well, I am a cow puncher, so I'm here to hell. Hey. The woman glares at you. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowgirl. Who's going to be searching the spittoon for her teeth if she don't leave me in peace? I already went through there. Well, fuck you then, Susie. God damn it. I give a shit about your family. I'm glad they're gone. God damn it, Pete. You still say the same shit? Alright, I'm gonna play some poker. Can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. Bet aggressively. You show your pair of tens plus two, three kings. The guy on the left has a full house, and the guy on the right somehow got a straight flush. Two, six. I'm gonna intimidate him. Fuck it. <laughs> I fuck Jesus. You explain the jacks are worth 9 points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21, to the guy on the right's 20, and you're 25 plus a king. And the king means they have to either pay you in human teeth or an extra 10 meat each. They gasp and push more teeth across the table you. You collect your winnings and stand up. The guy thanks you for helping them learn the game. Can I play again? They don't have enough meat left to bother with. It looks like they're playing for spiders. Okay. Oops. What is this? That guy is sleeping like a mother. Can I talk to the bartender again? Have anything else to say? Oh, okay. All right, out the bar we go. Oh God, it face planted in the shit. God damn it, outlaw! You're the worst. Let's talk to ye old sheriff. Hola, sheriff. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Bar and Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? The sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. Say, you wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums running around what call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with him. It ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without a door. And I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He <laughs> hands you the deputy pistol. He deputizes the gun. You're new in town. Maybe ain't noticed. There ain't much to do here. Sip drink. Here, let me write down the Fricker Gang's hideout for you. You discovered a new location, the Fricker Gang's hideout. All right, I'll be back with the door. Wanted. Apply in person at the Yuma Marshal's office. Okay. Naked Mike Bernstein. Alright, I'm gonna have to look for all these. Oh, Bimmy Fricker. I'll get you. Thanks. Wait, a post wanted poster artist. I need to remember that. Can I have this mug? There's a dirty mug here. Nice. I'm gonna take that shit back to the bar. Give me some meat. I found this mug. Much obliged. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's go get ourselves a horse. Horses are a thousand. Oh, God. This is Derp, the horse. Afternoon, ma'am. What can I do for you? Can you sell me a horse? 
Sure thing. I should warn you, though. Horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. Right now, I only have the one horse available. All right, let's see if he ends up with any more horses. Actually, I should check the needle, the haystacks. We got another needle. Nice. Okay, so haystacks are good for getting needles for picking rocks. Good. Good to know. Good to know. All right, don't face plant through the freaking horse shit this time, please. Hello, traitor. Step right up. Step right up. Braids the name and trades the game. Well, madam, today I'm trading locks for soap and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides, well, to that adventure soul, I trade a fine silver pocket watch. How about some dynamite? Be careful with this now. Okay. I sure will. Get lost. Fuck. Oh, there is a person dressed as a cactus. Hello. You approach the weird cactus man hybrid. He smiles at you. How to yourself? The name's Bill. Cactus Bill! Well, to be honest, partner, I drank too much cactus beer and it turned me into a cactus. Doc Alice warned me this had happened, but I didn't listen. No, that's just a coincidence. Does what hurt? You know, being a cactus. Oh, haha. <laughs> no, it's actually kind of nice. The natural fermentation processes inside of the cactus part of me keep me pretty drunk most of the time. I guess it is a mite boring. It wouldn't be so bad if I had something to read. You don't happen to have a newspaper, do you? Sure do. Much obliged, partner. Now let's see here. What can I do to return the favor? Oh, I know. A shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at Orihole Mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find it useful. Don't mention it. Now if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. I don't know how you're going to read it. That's, that's an interesting thing. Huh? I got whiskey. Okay. Oh, I have a map. The town of Boring Springs. The Fricker Gang's hideout. Okay, go there. Hey, this motherfucker's asleep. I'm gonna sneak around and get it. Thud Fricker, the Fricker Gang's intrepid lookout, appears to be taking a little nap. J just shoot him. Jesus. No murder yet, please. It's a barrel cactus. Oh, boy. Miners keepers. Wait, a pile of random Fricker Gang stuff. Covered a mug and a pair of silver cufflinks. Who wants to get shot? I can ice skate. Oh, I'm the baddest motherfucker of all time. Ooh. Where did I get a lantern? Oh my god. Wait for them to kill each other, maybe? Wait for it. Who's this guy? One of the Fricker boys is dozing in a bathtub. Tie him up. You grab a nearby length of rope and carefully tie his hands together and then the handles of the tub. The sheriff can come collect the plate. Y'all tied up! And howdy, fellas. I'm gonna have to shoot you. You cautiously approach the Fricker gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrop on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe and that the squirrely one is his brother Wimpy. What's your play? Well, he's not Sniper XX Headshot 420, so I'm not that worried. Howdy, boys. Deal me in. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soap? What do you want? It's Bimmy. I'm here for the sheriff's door. I'll show you the door. The door to hell. Oh, I'm gonna shoot you, motherfucker. Hang on one second. Trying to shoot this target will hit a sturdy barrel instead. Oh, I have to punch the barrel. Dynamite. Shaw. Bam! You have been slaughtered. He has a shotgun. I probably should have killed him first. Bam! Ooh, wrecked. Damn, I'm the baddest. Holy shit. Can I have all their stuff? I'm gonna steal this mug, too. Well, now I lost my dynamite. Shit. A pile of Frecker's ill-gotten gains. The door. Grab it. Man, I, I have some kind of special backpack on. It sticks to my special stick figure spine. Okay. 
I am just we're we're just going. I'm gonna shoot this guy. Just shoot him. It doesn't seem very sportsmanlike. <laughs> Hang on, do we let him live or do we kill him? Ah, fuck it. He can. I'm sorry about your luck, there, friend. Back to the town. The town of Barn Springs. This guy's still wandering through, drunk as shit. All right, to the sheriff. Actually, we gotta turn in these mugs. Found these mugs. Nice. Oh fuck! I can't. All right, I can trade. Can I trade the silver with him? Oh, I can't. Okay. I brought your door back. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. Are there any frickin' boys left for me to round up? I'll go round them up shortly then. Looks like I owe you a reward. Got another little task for you if you got the time. Should be a little simpler than the last one. Well, the frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna take it. Gonna need a new lock. Okay. So you have a door with no lock. So you're you're good. You're all right. Are you good? Stupid doctor. God damn it. You're not allowed in Topeka anymore. Remember? Oh, all right. Well, that's unfortunate. Some loose dirt. Okay. Well, where do I go? Shit. Can't go anywhere else. Was there a... Was there a lock at their hideout that I didn't see? Hey, you. Can I go in here? I didn't see another door. This goes to the basement. Hmm. Weird. There weren't more stairs over here anywhere. Pete, do you have anything I can have? Hmm. Maybe we have to talk to her again? Well, what the hell? It's a windmill. Oh, it's a chunk of wood. I got a broken sword. Okay. Maybe I need to buy the horse. Let's go. Oh, God, stop stepping in the shit, for fuck's sake. I'm confused. I can't go anywhere else. Sell me your horse, damn it. Oh. Please, I go fetch. I'll give you 300 meat for each finding them. Oh, okay, the mine. All right, three. Okay. Oh, there's lots of new places. Okay. I think they like environments that are thematically appropriate. Here. When you find one, feed it some of these oats. That should send it back here. They're special pigeon-infused oats. Okay. So all I did was not know where to go. All right, cool. Uh... All right, actually, I'm going to stop there for right now. Uh, got a little bit confused, didn't know where to go. Uh, I need to find a way to get so I feel like I probably could have gotten it from that one guy that was in the Fricker Gang's hideout that was in the bath, but I, I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly what the options were there, but I, I really like this game. Um, I think the, the like super simplistic art style makes it cool while still having an absolutely hilarious storyline. And I really, I cannot get over the walking. The fact that it can be different every time is absolutely hilarious to me. So obviously I'll continue this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, punch that like button like Mike fucking Tyson. And I will catch you guys in the next one.